Now, ladies and gentlemen, time for the show. Once again, thank you for coming to our theater tonight. Have an enjoyable evening. The refreshment stand will remain open for a short time. Still plenty of time to get a snack or cold drink. We'll make an announcement before the stand closes to give you plenty of time to get that last minute treat. Well, good morning, everyone. It's it's a nice... I didn't check to make sure my mic was on. Eh, that looks on. That looks, that looks pretty on to me. How's it going, everyone? It is the guy that did the Lego Highland videos. That'll be on my... That'll be on my tombstone. So, uh, in case you forgot, today's gonna be a, a nice little little morning stream. Uh, I've got plans today. Dude, you know I got my coffee made. You know it. Um, I was actually try, trying to figure out what to stream because I knew I wanted to play Animal Crossing because I want to get some more raffle tickets because on Wednesday we get to do the raffle. I was trying to find something else to stream and nothing really eh, so we're just gonna we're gonna feel it out I'm gonna start checking the suggestion the stream game suggestion thing here soon and I'm gonna try and stockpile a bunch of games oops We're starting Thug on Wednesday. I thought about starting Thug today, but I had already said, I had already been like, we're gonna start a Wednesday and I, I didn't want people to like not show up or something and miss miss the beginning. Plus, I'm gonna have a lot more time on Wednesday for a nice, a nice long stream. I thought about I thought about Chillscape too. I didn't know. We'll just see. We'll see how it goes. I didn't know what I wanted to to do. Dude, MVP shirt. Finally saw the Carmen San Diego video. Dude, I thought that one turned out pretty good for a short little video. Oh, you guys are going to like Hopefully, what I'm working on now, though. Ooh. I'm excited. I'm just going to start making, you know, whatever. I 
I'm tired of worrying about how videos are going to perform or how, you know, stuff like that. I got stuff I want to talk about. Uh, next humongous entertainment stream? I'm not sure. Uh, we could play one of those soon, though. So tomorrow the plan is to film. I have I have filming that needs to be done. I was gonna do that yesterday, but oh, I ended up not being ready. Hey there. No, we Mega G Wolf. We just started. We literally just started. Where's my, uh... I don't want to give too many hints. I don't like, I don't like to spoil too much. Uh... But I guess I don't mind saying that, uh... What's up with my voice? Is my voice? What's wrong with my voice? Is my voice okay? You can't just say what's up with your voice and not tell me... What's up with my voice? That sounds fine. Okay. Dude, I like when it rains in Animal Crossing. It's like extra relaxing. It's just morningy. Well, yeah, I did. I basically rolled out of bed, turned on my computer, and uh, a little deep. Okay, yeah. Well, I'm just warming up. I'm just, I'm just getting warmed up for the for the day. Let me uh, let me drink some more coffee. I thought you meant something with my audio was being weird. Which is something I'm, I'm trying to fix, because it has been weird in previous streams. So if you hear any of that, if you hear my audio being weird, that's something I need to know. Thank you. I, 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 quite, enjoy, I quite enjoy my mug. Okay, so we have to buy stuff. I'm gonna buy everything. I'm gonna buy anything that gives me a a raffle ticket. Cause I want the raffle tickets. Ooh, I want that floor though. I want to keep it. Bring that mug to my grave. Uh. Well, realistically, I, I probably, I don't know that I'm attached to the idea of a grave. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll have it at my deathbed. That's... Eh. Brutal Mugs when merch comes out. Dude... Honestly, whenever it comes out, I think we should just be thankful that I actually got merch out because it has just been Oh, uh, it's not fun. <laughs> I don't like having to get all this merch stuff ready Because I want to make sure it's monthly, done right monthly can help our dreams come true. It's just a pain King of the Gulls. Thank you for the five dollars. Check out Ian. He's a funky dude, but on a bike, he needs a change of attitude. <laughs> is that a uh, is that a Sam Sprocket? Is that a Sprocket 
Sprocket Sam. That sounds like something that Sam would have said. Thank you very much, King of the Gulls. Oh yeah, that reminds me. I was gonna say something, and then I was... Uh... I, I don't ride a bike. I haven't ridden a bike in... Oh my god. I, you know, they say that you don't forget how to ride a bike, but... I mean, I think I may have forgotten to ride a bike. Okay. I don't like that. <laughs> you're, you're into that, uh, the chalkboard that says social study on it? I would say we could keep it, but there's no room... There's no room in our house for anything. Oh yeah, okay, I interrupted myself. Again. Um. This weekend... Should... If all things go according to plan, this weekend should see... Uh, the next... Installment of Televoid. Oh, I don't need to try that on. But, look for that if you are a fan of the series. That's what I've been working on. That's the next thing up. That's, uh, that's the thing that I, I wrote a whole script for, and I started to work on it, and I was like, nah. And I'd reset it. I said I had to hit the reset. It was... It wasn't good enough. But the, now it is. Now it is. So you're, you may... I'm, I'm gonna try and make more of them. More often. Uh, I used to worry about... Uh... Get it, get it, get it, get it, yeah! Yes! We'll hold on, we'll hold on to the chalkboard for now. We'll, maybe we'll find something to do with it. Uh, yeah, but I used to worry about, you know, what, what would perform well and, like, overloading the channel with stuff that, that's not gaming stuff, but... That's fine. That's fine. I've got, you know, I've got a lot of film stuff I want to talk about, and if if that's the stuff I'm talking about, then th there we go. I've got games I want to talk about too, but I don't think I want to just focus on games. So maybe more Televoid? Uh, definitely more, I mean, I think after Televoid, I'm probably gonna do Smart House. Uh, but I do have games... Ooh, I've got a good idea. Get it, get it, get it, get it, yeah! Yes! Yes! So I think maybe I'll do, like, Televoid, Smart House, and then we can play through... I've been saving a, an interactive movie, a game, interactive movie game thing, and we can play through that, and then maybe I'll do a video on that one. There is a, the benefit to using an umbrella in the rain is that I think you get to hear the rain more. You get the umbrella noise. And you can do this. Where's the, there we go, you can do this. Alex1107, thank you for the full year. Oh, hello everybody. Get it, get it, get it, get it, yeah! Yes! yes. Yeah, it's kind of like TLC. It, uh, it's kind of like TLC, only not at all like TLC. Um, Alex1107 says, Wow, a whole year already. $60 well spent. Love your content more than ever. Much love from Detroit. Thank you so much, Alex. 
It's not John. Thank you for the Twitch Prime sub. Says, it's been a while. Dude, happy to have you back. I'm back. Three times a week. Happy to be back. I need more games to stream. So I need more options because I'm so picky. I need, you know. Other than that, though, happy to be back. And Sprout Stuff, thank you for the 12 months. I have some weirdness. The problem with the weirdness videos, right, is that sometimes they just really tank. Sometimes, like, nobody really wants to watch it. It's hard to get... It didn't even pull it under. It's hard to get uh, people to click on a game that, you know, they don't know what it is unless you make a title like mystery game check out this weirdo weirdy game uh and i don't really want to do that <laughs> make a top 10 weirdness i don't know what i'd put on that list Get it, get it, get it, yeah! Yes! Yes! The golden tree thing? I have... I have a golden tree. This is a golden tree. Yeah, it's a little sand, but not, it's not too bad. I just gotta space the weirdness out. I gotta space it in between, you know, things that people recognize. Or something like Televoid, where people, you know, they know the show, and so they, you know... That, that, Televoid gets a little bit of a break, because people... Aw, my island tree died. You're playing sex games number three. Yeah, yeah, that's what it would have to look like. Uh... Gotta geek out. Thank you so much for subscribing. Uh, changed my Twitch name, but didn't change my support. Good to see you streaming again. Ian? Uh, who were you before? You gotta tell me. <laughs> Happy to see you again, whoever you are. Oh my god, my nose itches. Oh my god, I've got a movie about a, a, like an invisible dog or something that I want to talk about. I need to talk about Invisible Mom. No, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do any more uh, sex games, probably. I don't have any plans to. Not in the immediate future, though. The internet couldn't behave itself. So, plus now with YouTube's weird ad thing, it's probably a good thing to avoid. It's, I agree, I think it is a shame. But it's also unsurprising. Yeah, it is the internet. Oh, I'm glad you like the MVP shirt. Uh, do you like my MVP background? Oh my god, I need to mail the other MVP shirt to Bob. I hope he wears it. Oh my god, she even has the umbrella. She is decked out in not MVP gear.
I mean, I could make them and put them on a different site, but that's still not gonna stop people from being annoying about it. Yes, I'm abstaining from reviewing sex games. That's what it is. Dude, please take this sea bass. I don't need it. Mmm. I like that Noah's. No! I have heard of her story. I have not played her story. I old Animal Crossing website that allowed you to trade online. Uh, I don't remember doing that, but I do remember. Oh my god, you know we could do that. I totally forgot that that was something you could do. Um, I do remember looking up codes for items because in this game you could mail stuff. You could mail stuff to other people, and basically what you do is you'd mail it at the post office, and they would give you a code, and then you gave that code. To your friend, money, money can help our dreams come true. who would then put that code in their game and they would get the item. So you didn't actually send the item, it was like a weird code exchange thing. And so people would just put the codes online. You could just go be like, oh, I want this item. Lexi Camille donated two dollars and says pumped for new televoid possibly my favorite series of videos ever Oh, that's that's nice uh, Just so you know though, I'm pretty sure I'm going to watch every bit of content you put out You're kind of a constant source of inspiration for me. So thank you for that. Well That was just a very nice message. Thank you very much Lexi Camille I gotta get rid of some of this crap. I don't want that. Petunia's got some more trash coming her way. The code system was really cool. I agree. Uh, for the time, since you couldn't, I mean, you couldn't trade stuff online, but this was still a way that you could send gifts. If you weren't a dirty cheater, it was, you know, it was pretty cool. Internet is so bad, you don't know how long you can stay and watch on the archive. Sorry about that, Lacey Love. You can always try lowering the quality of the stream if you're having problems. I don't know if... Don't tell me. Don't tell me this. Don't tell me this. I know this, Tom. I know this, Tom. Yeah, I have an Uncle Tom. He doesn't remind me of Tom Nook, uh, but his name is Tom. <laughs> I believe in the Nancy Drew stream. Oh, sorry about that. I wonder if that's something on my end. I hope not. Does he remind Tom and Jerry? No, but I used to love Tom and Jerry, dude. I used to watch Tom and Jerry on uh, Cartoon Network all the time. They were like friends, but they like weren't really friends. They like hung out but they like wanted to kill each other or something it was a great it was a great show very complex relationship those two had did I root for Tom or Jerry I don't know that I rooted for either I think there were some episodes that made me feel sympathetic towards one over the other get it get it get it get it yeah yes yeah. I feel like I kind of wanted Jerry to win, but at the same time, I felt bad for Tom because uh, Jerry's kind of a, like a dick. <laughs> you know? 
Dude, I used to love the Tom and Jerry movie. Uh, I probably... I probably know the words to some of those songs. We don't have any room. I'll put the... Uh, let's hold on to the... I'm going to insert... Oh, right, I can't store... Well, I was going to insert the coffee table, but you can't store furniture in furniture. Um, Peachy Alexi, thank you for subscribing. Hey, I've been watching your YouTube videos for about a year now and have recently been able to catch your streams. It is my birthday tomorrow and I thought I'd treat myself to a subscription. Keep up the amazing streams and content. Thank you so much, Peachy Alexi, and happy early birthday. Everybody go ahead and wish Peachy Alexi a happy birthday. Dude, we got a G logo shirt. Oh, dude. I'm keeping this one. It's an awesome shirt. And you know, sometimes when, you know, when I'm not out busy being the MVP, I'm usually out uh, busy being a, a G, right? Didn't I give a lacy parasol to somebody? Did they throw it away? <laughs> I feel like I've heard of those games, T. Miller, but I don't know. It is the GameCube logo, yes. That... G is a terrible grade. Dude, you know what's weird? Maybe not weird. It's not weird. Never mind. You know what's something in my life that is a thing that happened? Get it, get it, get it, get it, yeah! Yes! Yeah. <laughs> It was really weird to like go from, you know, in my, the school I went to from first to 12th grade, we didn't have D's, right? It was like A, B, C, F. And then to go to college and to uh, be able to get a D, I got a few D's just because I could. I was like, I know I'm going to get a D on this, but I've never, uh, you know, never gotten that grade before. Jurassic Peanut, thank you so much for subscribing. I can't trust someone who can't even catch a bug. Oh my god. It's like dick. It's like D is like dick, guys. <laughs> okay, so I have to kill, uh... Uh, not kill. I have to catch an, in, an insect for Bob. I could mail. I could mail my trash though. You didn't have F's? They were O. They were called NP for not passing because someone thinks F is too harsh. I don't know I don't know about that one. Sometimes you fail. Sometimes you're a failure and it is harsh, but you're a you're a fucking failure. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
Ah, uh, leave, go away. Ah, uh, bitch. Here's some. Here's some garbage. There we go. This, surely this is the letter that will convince her. Last time you were here, I was playing RuneScape. How'd it go? Probably awesome. Because RuneScape is awesome. Okay, here's the boot. Is the apostrophe she won't understand it I didn't even uh, I didn't even use like a period or anything if that's gonna you know if the apostrophe is what's gonna break the whole thing uh, Petunia has you know uh, Petunia has I don't remember exactly but I remember that I've called out her numerous times because I remember being like, well, maybe she's not that bad. Maybe I'm just a jerk. And then she would say something. And she's ugly. Which obviously means that she needs to leave. Because that's how, that's how Animal Crossing go. This game lets you shovel villagers? Uh, I, I don't know, maybe you can? Can I shovel you? Uh. I, I have not berated anyone with a net yet. That is a good point. Why did I agree to catch a bug for Bob? It's raining outside. Can you bury people alive in this game? You can get a pitfall. So, uh, technically, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Ugly people, you can watch. It's not a rule for the stream. Everyone's welcome to the stream, just not in my Animal Crossing town. Ugly villagers must go. Doesn't uh, New Leaf have some weird, weird pitfall? Does it not show like the, the X or something? Segregation isn't cool unless it's in Animal Crossing, in which case, uh, it's very cool. <laughs> it's not even segregation. Like, maybe if I only allowed a certain... Well, I don't know that I would want a cow villager, <laughs> so maybe it is. I need paper, Tom. I need paper. Yeah, I don't care. Cows are cute. I don't know. I mean, not in this game. Well, you know what? You bunch of <laughs> bunch of cow sympathizers. She can Petunia can move into your town, and then everyone will be happy. You can get uh, you can get all the cows. 
I'm not even convinced that I mean I would I would be I would be up for seeing a different cow that's not Petunia and seeing how I felt about it. We're not talking about you can't eat these cows. These are not real cows. These are virtual cartoon cows. Uh, there's no there's no bugs out. I need a job that's not catch a bug. I need Can you kill Petunia? I don't know that I would if I could. I would, I don't know, I would feel too bad doing that. I just want her to move. I don't, I don't want anything bad to happen to her. I just want to mail her trash until she leaves. Same with Egbert. Egbert's gotta go too. She is cute, and you know what? We could have even more cute villagers like her if Egbert and Petunia would leave. And Dina. Dina shouldn't be here either. At least Egbert has, like, personality. Like, get Dina out of here. Dina is just a weird duck. We already have a better duck. A cow named Angus in New Leaf? Probably, that sounds hilarious. See ya, Chaka. Yeah, New Leaf does make it easy to swap out characters, and I'm still on the fence about that. I've used it a lot with the update. I don't think I would do it on a new Animal Crossing town. Like, I used it after playing regularly for a while. I think part of the fun of Animal Crossing is having villagers that you don't like. Because, I mean, you don't like everybody in real life, right? I mean, I don't. I guess some, maybe some people do. Kind of surprised the gaming network still lives. I thought they were bought out and had to change the floor. What are you talking about? Monthly, monthly can help our dreams come true. What did I get? Are you kidding me? Are you serious? This is the thing you give me? This doesn't say anything about who I am as an MVP. Black... Black Butlet? Uh... <laughs> Black Butlet donated five dollars and says, finally count your stream live, watching while I'm at work. Just want to say you're a beautiful man and I will always go out of my way to watch your videos. MVP for life. Thank you so much, Black Butlet. I hope work goes well. I hope you just have an, uh, an MVP kind of day. And does anyone see a stupid bug? Did I hear a bug? Mm. Let me talk to Pinky. Oh, wait! 
Dude, what are you doing out of here? It's, it's, is it early? It's nine, dude. It's not that early. Oh, I always skip breakfast, man. Okay, do I want to do I want one here? Mm, no, that would be a really useless bridge. I hope that he does not put it here. That'd be a terrible bridge, dude. Don't put one there. Put one like here. Right? This would be a great place for a bridge. Here would be a good place. Here would be a good place. Here is literally useless to me. Some cereal, dude. I don't eat. I don't eat breakfast. Hey, Lacey Love, thanks for those bits. And don't. Nobody worry about donating or bits or anything. Just, just the fact that you're here watching is uh, more than I could ask for. Do not, never strain yourself financially for a, a YouTuber or a streamer. Just don't do that. Show up, hang out, maybe tell a friend. Oh, I don't have your bug yet. I don't eat in the morning. I do eat breakfast food. I love breakfast food. I just don't eat it in the morning. I can't eat when I wake up. Like, you wake up and eat, it makes me nauseous. I mean, I'm lucky if I eat lunch. I'm still trying to get back to eating lunch regularly. It'd be so nice to, like, not have to eat. You know, eat maybe uh, once or twice a week. That would be so nice. The stream has now inspired you to eat breakfast for tea? I don't know what that means. Dude, you actually wrote letters to the museum. Oh, you wrote, okay. I thought you meant you real life found like little things and mailed it to a museum. Yeah, I used to write letters to the museum too. I used to be like, oh, please. Please, uh, tell me what my fossil is. Tea is a light meal time. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, I gotcha. I got it now. I'm, I'm picking up what you're putting down. We need more peach trees. T 
Tea is bunch? Brunch, you mean? There you go. <laughs> I'm sure tea is uh, bunches of fun. Dude, you got the MVP shirt on New Leaf? Awesome. I'm going to be looking for it next time I play as well. For now, I just need... I demand more peach trees so I can be a rich man. Last time we even talked to Dina. I think I'm gonna plant peach tree. I'm gonna dedicate today today's peaches to planting again. Soon I need to start selling them though, because the whole point the whole point is to sell them and make money. Are you Dina? I can't see you. No, you're not. That that koala is uh, what's her name? Huggy or something? It was something weird. Hug. Hug face. My theory for why the humans have horns in this version imagine him without the horns i feel like his character design is too boring i feel like they just needed like a simple thing and the hair was like making hair for him was too complicated money, money can help our dreams come true. so they were just like well Horns, you know, let's put horns on him. Yeah, it's like Ico. I like the horns, though. Thought it was just a fun hat, but every single... Every single shirt, I mean, has the horns. Where the fuck is Dina? I wish they hadn't. Who's Cashmere? Cashmere? Oh. Oh, I don't know. I don't know about this one. L Lee IG Lee Mal. Uh. Lee G Lee Malay Mal Malayva. Thank you, uh, thank you for the six dollars and nine cents. I apologize for the pronunciation. Uh, I did my best. It says I like you. Greetings from Finland. Hello, Finland. Is it tea time in Finland, or is it time for tea? Tea. Oh my god, this noise. I gotta get out of here. Baby. Um. No, hell no, hell no, hell, you're not getting my chalkboard, nope. You just met me and you're trying to take my chalkboard? Stop looking at my pockets, bitch. Maybe that, maybe that uh, sound effect is to like put her to sleep. Maybe she has those things to like, you know, gently lull her to sleep as it's like, ah, oh, uh, ooh, ee, ooh, uh, ooh. I still don't know where the hell Dina is. Is 
this Dina's house? I know Dina's around here somewhere. This Bill's house. There went a bug I could have caught. The one bug that's out today. Maybe if I hit rocks, I could find a pill bug. Sleeping background noise is what Twitch streams are for. Are you sure it's not? Is that not making you tired? Boris. The one time I need to talk to Dina. Oh, <gasps> I scared it away. An ASMR video of me making that sound for an hour. I don't, I don't know. I don't think so. Dude. I agree. Shaking random trees. I feel like the bees in this game probably attributed to me not liking bees. Let's see some serious coinage here. That's big money. Excellent. Oh, Vanna. Dude, I'm getting money all over the place. Galaxy Nina donated ten dollars and says i just had the dawning realization that i've been following you on youtube for years uh oh finally caught you on twitch and thought i'd give some support to someone who unknowingly supported me throughout the years thanks for all the work and your simplicity thanks so much galaxy nina happy happy that you've been watching for so long it's pretty crazy it's you know it's crazy to me that I've been doing this for so long but it's also crazy that people have been watching for so long uh, I appreciate it and thanks for thanks for following me out here to twitch Okay, I'm about ready to make another payment on my my house loan, I think. Buen in it. Buen buen in it. Do I play any musical instruments? You know, I took piano lessons for a long time when I was younger. Um but it's been so long. However, I would like to get, because I've been making music lately, I would like to get like a MIDI keyboard for when I make music, which would kind of be like playing piano, I mean it's piano keys, but it's not exactly like. I do have piano hands. I, I could, you know, I've got little tiny weird looking fingers that are long skeleton. It's like, like there's no muscles in there or anything. It's like someone just put skin on a skeleton. Pretty good for piano playing. Songs or chords have some interest, or songs or jingles have some interesting chords. I take that as a compliment. Uh, n but no, I, I don't really play anything anymore. But I did grow up. I mean, like I said, I took piano for a long time, so I did learn about music and junk like that. Get it, get it, get it, get it, yeah! Yes. Yes. I do wish I had kept playing piano. If you're young and you're playing an instrument and you want to quit and your parents are like you're gonna regret this maybe listen to them a bit 
It can be a pain to learn an instrument, but when you're older, you might be happy that you learned. Ghost cart. Thank you for subscribing. I just hated, like, I hated practicing. I really liked to play. But, dude, having to do, like, I stopped playing piano when we got to, like, the rule of, or the circle of fifths, which is, like, this circle thing, and it tells you what notes are sharps and flats and a chord or some crap, and it was all this memorization stuff that didn't involve actually making the piano make music, and I was just like, eh. Yeah. Oh, I need to mail, uh, I need to mail Bob's MVP shirt. Sounds difficult. I mean, I, it's just, I guess it's just basic memorization, but I, I'm crap at basic memorization. I mean, you just have to come to one stream to know that I forget everything, probably. My, my current, I mean, my current strategy is I'm just going to make a bunch of music and hope that that makes me better at making music. I'd really like to make some stuff for Televoid. I want to, I want to compose some tracks to use in there, but I'm, I'm not good enough. Oops. Let's be co MVP. Let's be co MVPs. Uh Oh, thank you. I, I appreciate the, uh, I appreciate the, uh, the kind words about the music I've made, because we're, ah, we're so, Ooh. Let's be co MVP MVPs because we're so best friends. Um, Should have been and. But that's fine, so so don't forget it. It makes sense. It makes enough sense.
Okay, that goes to Bob. Fossil goes to the museum. I should start sending my real friends letters. That are just one or two sentences long. Don't really make much sense. They'd probably like that. I'd love to get letters like this in the mail, actually. <laughs> Do people mail each other? My mom mails me. She mails me quite often, actually. Other than that, though, no. I think she's the only one that's using the postal service. I don't think anybody else uses it. It's probably literally just her. I hear someone, but I don't know where Dina is. Send your, send your friends garbage for fun. That would be kind of fun. <laughs> it would be kind of fun. <laughs> Mail your sister a lot, yeah. I usually just call. I'm not I'm not really a fan of being on the phone, but I think I'm even worse at writing letters. I have not read uh, any Animal Crossing uh, Animal Crossing creepy pasta. know where Dina is. I can't find her. I saw her once today, but I don't remember where because she's so forgettable, you know? It's just Dina. Dude, that's cool. It's good that people are still writing letters. They do mean a lot. I'm just really bad at them. I wrote one, I got a postcard for my mom while I was at Disney, uh, Disneyland, Disney World, I don't remember which is which. Um, and I wrote her a letter on that, but it basically consisted of, I'm not really that good at writing letters, but uh, I wanted to write one anyway. <laughs> I don't think you're a jerk for not sending Christmas cards. It's not really something our, you know, I don't know that it's, outdated isn't the right word. Dude, it's spreading. It's spreading, she's so happy. Ooh, perfect, perfect. You guys enjoy. But I mean, we have like social networks now and phones and you know, you don't have to wait a week for a message to get to somebody anymore. You can just send them the message. It's a not MVP shirt. Uh, I'm actually right by, are you gonna come get this?
The not MVP shirt is for everybody that's not an MVP, which is, oh God, not me right now. I should wear it. I do not read very many books. I'm not good at reading. Reading is hard. And I also don't really have the attention span for it. I read, the most I read was when I worked and finally when I worked downtown and I had to ride the bus for like an hour or two every day I read then but now uh, I should but I don't I've been reading occasionally I, I was reading them in my ubers which I have a car now so that's another reading time taken away but I've been reading the Yu-Gi-Oh manga I have the uh, it's like the first three books in one book or something it's very different it's very strange dude I like the regal furniture actually I'll take that I don't use audiobooks in the car because I want to listen to music. I want to sing with my music. The early Yu-Gi-Oh! manga storylines are so freaking weird. Like, I think the one I just finished was some film guy came to their school and was like, oh, I need to make a this film about bullying so I'm gonna pay this guy to just go beat the shit out of Yugi so he pays some guy to beat the shit out of Yugi and then they play some game where they have to roll dice and they roll a dice and then Yugi makes it to where the guy can only see like he just sees pixelated everything and that was like the end it's very strange. It's very strange. And the games are all like really simple. It's like, I roll a dice, you roll a dice. That's the game. No, it wasn't Dungeon Dice. This was very pre-Dungeon Dice. This is very, very early. Oh no, I need paper. This is pre-Duel Monsters. Like they haven't even gotten to Duel Monsters yet. I'm not even at the card game. He's just going around, I don't know, teaching lessons to assholes by taking away their ability to see? I don't know. I started watching, is it still over here? No. I started watching Yu Yu Hakusho again, because I like it. So I've been watching while I work some some days. Petunia, uh, dear Ian, I simply wasn't able to comprehend the meaning of your bizarre letter. It might help to use easier words. I can't be bothered to look up every word you write. Egbert, hey Ian, uh, thanks for the letter. It was sort of a bummer that I didn't understand it though. How about next time you make it a little simpler, huh? That'd be cool. Everyone in this town is a fucking idiot, dude. I don't know how to read this letter or interpret this garbage that you mailed me. It was probably something nice, but I just, I don't know how to read. Uh, 
Oh, I gotta write the letter first. At least the museum doesn't have to understand. They get the message. They don't even need a... That'll work. Smell. Smell like anything to you guys? Just me. It doesn't smell like coffee. I don't know what it smells like, but I don't know that I'm a fan. Sometimes, like, sometimes I get to smell the sandwich shop that's near me. Ooh, I like when I smell that. It's gonna take forever. I guess it wouldn't take forever if I played every day. Also, I live near a guy that has a, uh, like a meat smoker. Come on, give the MVP shirt. No, nope. she's upset because you didn't give her the MVP shirt. And when he's like, when he uses that smoker thing, oh man, it smells good. It almost smells good enough for me to like lean out the window and be like, hey, can, I mean, I'll pay, can I have some? Sorry things are delayed for you, Lacey Love. I have not, I haven't changed anything, so it could just be, uh, it could just be Twitch as being weird for some people. Okay, I need to get rid, I may just, you know what? I'm gonna get a bunch of peaches. I'm gonna go dump some stuff at the house and I'm gonna sell some peaches. So I miss barbecue living in the Pacific Northwest. Eh, I wasn't a big fan of barbecue in the first place. Uh, I don't think about barbecue very often. I miss uh, Mexican food in Texas. I don't, I don't really. There's there's some decent. I found some decent Mexican food up here, but okay. Here's what we're gonna do. Yeah, I lived in Texas. I grew up in Texas. Uh, there are a lot of big things in Texas. I don't know if everything is bigger.
Dude, Whataburger's, Whataburger's pretty good. It's I, I don't hold it as high as I used to because I've found other things that I quite enjoy in the food department. But I do love a good Whataburger breakfast. Okay, I can put that in. I can put that in here. Best Mexican food in Washington comes from taco trucks. Dude, I think that's what I'm getting for lunch today. I think that's what, I think Danny and I are gonna stop by uh, this taco truck that we keep seeing but we haven't been to. God, I don't have space for all this crap. Uh, there we go, that's fine. Okay, well, we just have to hold on to this. Storage is an issue in this game. Dude, the, H the HHA isn't gonna like me for a while. It's not my fault that I can't put anything in a stupid closet. There's, so the storage works really weird. Like you have closets and stuff and each one can hold like three items or something. So you have to know which closet your stuff is in and you can only store so much and you can't store furniture in other furniture. It doesn't look like. Which means that if you have furniture that you're not using, it either has to go in like a basement or something, or you just have to hold on to it. But I don't have a basement right now, so I'm just kind of throwing it. I'm just kind of throwing my crap around <laughs> until I get a bigger place. You could store it on the island. You could go to the island and maybe store stuff in the house there. That that would be an option. Bury things outside. Yeah, I don't want to do that, though. Like I've said previously, they definitely... I mean, it's, this is not a bad game at all, but they definitely improved. Yes, I want to sell all that fruit, actually. Oh man, can hold any four items? I didn't know that. Or I knew and forgot about that. Oh yeah, cause you can have them sell shit too, can't you? The new one, uh, you mean the new Animal Crossing? I've played the new, uh, the new Animal Crossing and the update. I really hope they, in the next Animal Crossing, which I hope is announced at E3 for the Switch, I hope, I would love that. I hope they let the villagers that work in the, the city or at any of the shops, I hope they give them a house that they go to and live at after hours and I can go there and hang out with them. Because it's cool getting to see them in the RVs in the update, but I wish it was just a regular, I wish I could just go visit them, you know? Yeah, there's supposed to be a mobile game. But, you know, I heard that... Uh, I don't know for sure, but I heard or I read somewhere that the 
the mobile game is supposed to interact with a different Animal Crossing game somehow. And I'm, I mean, surely that's not New Leaf. I don't know how they would make an app that interacted with New Leaf. So maybe that means they're making another one it'll interact with on the Switch, maybe, I hope. My favorite non-villager NPC. I really like KK. It's probably KK Slider. I really like uh, Kix's design. He was a he was a good new addition, but I never. Let's plant a tree over here. I never see him because I never go into that store because I there's only so many shoes. They can up, update New Leaf to do it? How, though? Can your phone interact with the 3DS somehow? And I just am unaware? QR codes, oh no. Oh no. I hadn't thought about them using QR codes. Well, that would be, that would be immensely disappointing if that's what they're doing. But it is Nintendo and you know, they, they hit a pretty solid home run with me with the Switch. I was expecting to be disappointed, uh, but I actually really like it, so maybe it's time for them to disappoint me again. You never know. I bet they're making another one. I bet, I mean, if it's interacting with another one, I bet it's a new Animal Crossing. It has to be. The last New Leaf came out so long ago. I may play late shift sometime, you never know. Um, if that's something you'd like to see me play, be sure to uh, click that suggest a game button in my info section. I am excited about Mario Odyssey. I, I would like to see more of that. We're just talking about QR codes. Uh, I, I was, I was thinking that since the new Animal Crossing mobile thing supposedly interacts with a different Animal Crossing game, that it had to be a new one, because I didn't see how you could have a phone interact with an older game. And people suggested, you know, you could scan QR codes, stuff like that, which is a good point. I just think it's time for a new one. It's time. Yeah, I agree. I'm not a fan of the, the Nintendo Directs. I would wish they would have a presentation. I don't know if they're going to or not this year. I don't even know when E3 is. So I know it's coming up, but I don't know when it's at. Phone interacts with server, game interacts with server, bam. I mean, you say that like Nintendo knows how to do online stuff. That sounds pretty complex for Nintendo's online. I, 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 I have my doubts on that one. Monthly, monthly can help our dreams come true. No one talks about Happy Home Designer because they added all the home designer functionality to New Leaf which is what it should have been in the first place. It should never have been a standalone game. If anything, they should have, you know, people in Animal Crossing should ask you to redesign their house. They shouldn't have made a separate game for home designing. It was fucking throwaway. I didn't actually even play it, so I can only complain so much, but the concept made me angry. Mm. 
Julie, uh, Julie Flugged donated five dollars and says, I have an exam about translation memory and term bases. Help. Uh, I don't even know what either of those things are. I know what all those words mean separately. I know what translation, memory, term, and bases are. Together, eh. Uh, but good luck with that exam. Send your character to your phone and go walking. I don't think they're gonna do that. You say they have an emphasis on walking, but the Switch doesn't have like spot pass or anything like that. Do we see any more peach trees? Monthly, monthly can help our dreams come true. I, I agree. I think Street Pass was a really cool feature. I actually wish that the Switch had kept around. I thought that was neat. I don't walk around with my Switch and play it. I played it in public on a plane because I felt safe playing it on a plane, but right now it's too new. I just have the probably irrational fear that someone's just going to walk up and take it out of my hands. It's the same reason. It's the same reason I don't like to have my phone out when I'm out like walking downtown or something. I'm just paranoid but uh, playing it on a plane was nice oh here we go here's some fruit I think the switch is I mean I think it's pretty portable it just depends on if you're if if you're someone who carries a bag I guess since I, I, I normally carry a bag with me uh, it's pretty portable to me. King of the Gulls donated $2 and says, Office equals cleaned. Time for wacky errands. Thanks for the entertainment. I am a grown-ass man, but watching another grown-ass man play video games is much much better than anything on TV. Except for Maury Povich. <laughs> dude, how am I... I can't compete with Maury, dude. Thank you, King of the Gulls. I will, you know, I watch a lot of streams. I really like watching streams, especially when I'm working. So I, I feel that one. I don't also carry a fanny pack, but, so I got this coupon in the mail uh, from H&M that was like 40% off any one item. So I went shopping online on H&M H&M is selling fanny packs now. It suggested it to me, like it knew. It was like, hey, do you want to check out this fanny pack? I was like, no, H&M, I don't want, I don't want to do that. Like watching streams of doing art. Yeah, I think it's great. It, I think streams are great to multitask too. I like having it on while I'm working or, or something. Because when I watch TV, I want to watch TV. But streams, you can kind of go in and out and kind of check in on what's going on. And... They're coming back into style, I know. It's not ironic. I don't buy, I don't buy a lot of, a lot of this irony shit. A lot of the people that do things ironically. Eh. I don't buy into that that train of thought. Because a lot of times people that do things ironically end up just continuing to do them just because. And the irony was just kind of like an excuse. 
like, I don't know, some, I've noticed some big gaming channels lately go full in on, like, the clickbait titles, not even just gaming channels, just bigger channels that I've, I've watched for a while go ham on these, like, clickbait shit that they started doing ironically to make fun of all the clickbait, and then now they're just doing it regularly. <laughs> Just own it, dude. Just be like, okay, I'm making I'm making the clickbait thumbnails now. I'm gonna ironically wear this fanny pack. Just say you're gonna wear the fanny pack, man. You can't have it both ways. I started that way with, with music, is what really sold me on that kind of thing, because I used to say I had guilty pleasure music and stuff like that, and the more people asked me, the more I was like, I don't, I don't have guilty pleasure music, I don't listen to any of this 90s pop or anything, ironically or anything, it's because I like it. To be clear, I do think irony exists. I just don't think it's most of the time when people say they're being ironic. I don't think that's the case a lot of the time. <laughs> Gotta have their defenses. You don't, though. Just say that you like the stuff that you like. You can be into lame stuff. I'm into so much lame stuff. That's almost my selling point at this, at this point, is that I... I like a bunch of lame crap. Do I sound grumpy enough yet? Do I sound like a grumpy old man? And you know what people, you know what I found? People really respond to the confidence. I'm not a very confident person, but I think the more you embrace your, it would, it's something I would love to be able to do better is embrace your interests more, you know, don't be afraid to show you really, you know, you really like something or I'm trying to be more positive. Like, even in videos where I'm, like, making fun of something, I, I try and be positive about it, too, and, you know, I think people respond to that. People who dislike Coldplay are often the kind of people who systematically dislike anything that is popular without actually looking into it. Oh my god. I don't like Coldplay. <laughs> Maybe some people just, just don't like that music. Just because something's popular doesn't mean everybody has to like it, though. Rump, you are a little, uh, a little late to the stream. I started pretty early today, though, so... Yeah, dude, people really responded to the positivity of the Sonic uh, movie video. A lot of people were like, a lot of people just, when they reviewed this, they just ripped it to shreds. And I like how you said that you actually liked it. I well, didn't say all people, but you did say are often, you know. I gotta defend myself. I don't remember what my bulletin board post was, actually. Dude, Fun's first album, Amen Ignite, was way better than their second album. 
I don't know why anyone would hate you for that, because they sound completely different. I agree, I think Fun's... I was when... Because I was listening to Fun when their second album came out. And I was... I wasn't into it at first. Get it, get it, get it, get it, yeah! Yes! Yes! Hope the angry reviewer trope goes out of style. I... I I'm definitely, it's, I'm on the way out myself, uh, I, I don't think I'm there anymore. Some people interpret my tone as maybe angrier or complainier than I really feel about things, but I'm trying to not, I'm trying to like things. Or show that I like things. Sea Candles, thank you for subscribing, says a non-ironic subscription for my favorite streamer. Thank you so much, C Candles. I hope my, I hope my complainy, my mini, my mini rant on irony wasn't too complaining. I'm not here to call anyone out. I'm just a man that gets annoyed at many things. I'm kind of done with being negative is cool trend as well. People are just, oh, I don't know. I feel like... Uh... I feel like people are always bitching online. <laughs> like it used to be funny and now it's like, okay, now it's just, now it's just every time I go online, people are complaining about crap. Where? Although I guess that's what I was just doing a few minutes ago. So, you know. I'm not perfect. <laughs> Tired of drama being popular? Well, that's not gonna go anywhere. Get it, get it, get it, get it, yeah! Yes! Yes! See a Phoenix hero? Drama's not going anywhere, because drama's always gonna be popular. Mighty Golem, thank you so much for that Twitch Prime subscription. Yeah, I just I just said I was bitching about people bitching. I'm not even trying to to bitch. I'm just trying to come to explain my feelings on something. Basically, to sum it all up, you know, you just gotta listen to some uh, some more in sync, dude. That's how how I would. Oh, it was from Curly's. If you listen to NSYNC, everything's gonna be okay. Yeah, I got your, uh... <laughs> Hmm. 
Did he give me paper? No, I bought that paper. Did he give me anything? I have not played Super Mario Run. I've played the Sonic Run game. I actually thought that was pretty fun. He gave me stationery? I thought I bought that stationery. Okay, um, as far as I know, we don't have any more peaches. I guess I could sell seashells. Don't those sell pretty well in this game? Maybe? I could at least look into it. That's fair. That's, that's, that's fair. That's what I mean. I try not to be aggressive about my opinions. That's why I'm lazily chatting about it on my stream instead of aggressively tweeting about it or something like that. Just trying to let people do their thing. Dude, Pushing Up Roses makes great videos. If you haven't seen her latest one on Save slots, you should. It's a good watch. Dude, everyone is depressed. Is it because of the rain? It is Monday. Dude, you know what? Her topics are, ref I, I really want, I wish I could make videos over like a topic and not a thing, but I don't know, I don't know how to do, I guess I don't know how to start that. I don't have a topic to talk about. All I really have to talk about are things. Oh yeah, Luca Jen also definitely recommend. She was she just finished streaming some Nancy Drew. I told her we should stream one together sometime. Talk about a hot topic. You know, there's probably a good story there. The history of hot topic or something. Retrospectives on a series. Um, I mean, does do the Lego Island videos count? I talked about all of the Lego Island games. That's kind of a retrospective. I'm talking about humongous entertainment games slowly but surely. That's Yeah, well, see, with the Nancy Drew, the first game we played, I didn't really like. I did enjoy the second one. A lot of people told me that I played a bad one to start with. And I listened to you guys. Which one did, which one did I trash? I think I'm missing a lot of, hum uh, not Humongous Entertainment, a lot of Magic School Bus games. I think there's like, I don't remember. Oh, Lego Island 2, yeah, I did trash Lego Island 2 and 3. Yep, Spy Fox is a game that uh, I'm sure I'll talk about again. It's been a while since I've talked about Spy Fox. 
Analyze how edutainment games have evolved over time? I don't know, I don't... I'm not smart enough to talk about that stuff. I don't know, I would have to do like a bunch of research. And then even then I would probably be really wrong and then everybody would hate me. That's probably exactly how it would go. Yeah, two hour videos, I don't know. I could see maybe one day, maybe a, a quite extended televoid. I would love to do like a really long episode someday, but uh, not anytime soon. Can't imagine hating me. Dude, some people do, though. But, I mean, I don't, I don't blame them. I'm not that great. Where did that, uh, there was a, a pear tree that I missed somewhere. Oh, it was over by the, it was over by the museum. Dude, anybody excited for Bachelorette tonight? I am. Also, I get to watch Sinister Minister, and I will be sure to report back on Wednesday uh, about how Sinister Minister goes. I'm very excited about that one. Sinister Minister. It's a it's a lifetime movie that Danny and I saw a trailer for and we set it to record. I think it aired yesterday. It's a lifetime movie about some minister who's uh, supposedly sinister. Live tweet Sinister Minister. I don't know. A series? I don't think it's a series. I think it's a movie. I think we thought it was a series too, and we looked it up and it's a movie. Whatever it was, we haven't recorded though. The cops are coming for the sinister minister, dude. They're not coming for me. Again, I live near a... Uh, I live near a police station and a, a fire station, so. I don't even really hear it anymore, honestly. Because they're not the most annoying regular sound that I hear. I also live ne near these uh, church bells, and I don't have anything against church bells that sound good. Uh, these do not sound good, and they keep making them longer. They keep just taking this one pattern that these bells do, and they just add to it, and they add to it, and they add to it, and they add to it, until I'm sitting here for a year on Sunday, just waiting for these bells to shut up.
Very non-MVP church bells. I wish they'd put some... I would love to hear some nice church bells. Uh, I live on... Uh, I live in Capitol Hill. I do like New Leaf. I think we may be spent on Animal Crossing. Though, I don't know what else there is to do. Is there anything anyone would like in particular? Uh, with Animal Crossing? If so, I think we may be spent on things that I can do today. It's true, I would live in Capitol Hill. It's a very true statement. Some would say that that is where I live. I am not a Bill on Capitol Hill, but I am an Ian on, on Capitol Hill. You know, cause like Bill is also like a name. Bum bum. Bum. bum 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 I do live in Washington State. It's uh, Capitol Hill is a, a, a neighborhood in Seattle, or it's the name. I mean, it's also the name of other places. I know it's from Schoolhouse Rock. Who do you think you're talking to? I got that on VHS, dude. If I want to learn about bills, I can just break out the VCR and pop that baby in. April 15th, 2016. Um, well, if I'm done with Animal Crossing, what do I do next? That's the problem I was trying to answer this morning because I really didn't feel like playing anything else. I thought by now, I thought I was like, well, I'll just play Animal Crossing and then by the time it's time to switch games, uh, I will have figured it out. Uh, I think we'll probably do ch some Chillscape on Wednesday. We're starting Thug on Wednesday for sure. Um, yeah, so Thug is on Wednesday. I was, I, I would have started Thug today, but I already said I would start it on Wednesday and I don't want anyone to miss it that was looking forward to it. Wheel? I can play, I can play Wheel. Clue, I don't really want to start at my 98 PC, honestly. <laughs> I'd play RuneScape, but I don't know how much longer I'm planning on streaming. Uh, I, I usually like to have more time because doing stuff in RuneScape takes a while. But I think tomorrow I may do Thug for the beginning and then do RuneScape after. I can. I can stream from. I have a separate Windows 98 computer that I stream from. I just don't. I don't want to get all that. Ah. So when it, the thing with the hidden object games is I kind of want to have one game, one like story or, or kind of game that we're playing at a time. 
So Wednesday is when we're gonna start Thug, and that's gonna be the game until I get done with Thug. And then after that, we'll probably do another hidden object adventure game. Oh, sorry, when I say tomorrow, I probably mean Wednesday. Tuesday, I'm, I'm working on videos all day. No stream tomorrow. I'm at, I'm at Wednesday. Uh, let me get, let me get the wheel. Oh. Dude, I bet there's a lot of new, there's tons of hidden object games, man. Oh my god. Thug is Tony Hawk's Underground. Uh, I've never played it before. I loved the sequel, though. I loved Tony Hawk's Underground 2. Um, and people are saying the story of Thug is actually pretty good, or at least pretty entertaining. I'm not going to play Tony Hawk Ride because I live above people, and I'm sure I, I'm sure I annoy the people below and next to me already just because I have to record all the time and I'm always streaming or... You know, being loud somehow. Oh yeah, we're definitely doing Animal Crossing on Wednesday too. Maybe not very long, but we're at least doing the raffle. Yeah, I don't have to lift my desk up to to uh, switch this stuff out, actually. And I know that may be disappointing for people who liked seeing my desk move, but it sure is a lot easier on me. Oh, I guess I could like... Dude, I played Project A forever ago. I had it on uh, Xbox, maybe, 360? We played a little bit of it on stream on the PS2 version, but it wasn't... Clearly wasn't the best version. play American America's skate American Skateland. I I played Tony Ox one, two, three, and I think four. I played Project A. I played Thug Two. Maybe that's all?
Wheel of Fortune. I know I told I told Luke to stream Shinmu, which I still watch. I think I may want to stream Shinmu. I've never played it. I've just watched my friend play it, but man, it was a fun stream to or a fun game to watch. Thank you for the bits. Get it, get it, get it, get it, yeah! Yes! Yes! By Landerus. Thank you for subscribing. Just found Moose 2 and enjoyed your stream so much I had to sub. Your vids get me through a lot of work. Thanks, Moose. Thank you very much for subscribing. Happy you made it all the way over here. Normal game? Okay, so how many people out? One player it is. You can play a game with a time limit or a game with a fixed number of rounds. What do you want to do? Shinmu is most fun when you treat it like Animal Crossing go into people's lives. Yeah, dude. It was fun to watch. I mean, I don't know. There's just a bunch of random crap that you can do. Sounds a bit low. I can... Uh... Oh, wait, no. I think the game is actually louder. Isn't this one weird where the... I'll turn it up if it's not. But part of me wants to say that the game is going to be louder. Stock up on the sunscreen and the insect repellent because it's great outdoors day here on Wheel of Fortune. Is and that? Now, here's your host, Vanna White. Thanks, Charlie. Well, Let me know. Wheel of Fortune, everyone. Let's get right to our game. Oh, yes. Let's take a look at if you've never been here for a wheel stream, on the map. Uh, please don't give me any hints, except for in the bonus rounds. I'll let you know. Um, feel free to brag that you know what it is, but I like to try and figure these out myself. Still low? Okay, I'll turn it up. Oh, uh, let me... A pair of ends for you. That's okay, I can, I'll be able to do it. On the map. That better? Two of them as a matter of fact. No, I wasn't looking at a map. I was changing stuff on this screen, so I had to look over here, but now this screen's not working. <laughs> There's no signal coming from my computer. Why? Well, that's fine. Nice move. There are two of them. Everything's fine. That's just another technical problem. Uh, Netherlands? Netherlands? Something Netherlands? Maybe? I have not played the, uh, the original XCOM. XCOM's not really my, my genre. Two of them, as a matter of fact. I don't know anything about the Netherlands, though. Uh, I don't know what would be on the map in the Netherlands. <laughs> I don't even know that I could point to the Netherlands on a map. I probably couldn't. 
we have two honors. Amsterdam? Is that in the Netherlands? There are three A's. That's it for the vowels. Huh. Amster Damn, that's a place, right? Net uh net. Okay. You did it! Terrific, player one. That was a fun round. Let's see how everyone's doing. It hurts you? I don't know why I'm supposed to know where everything is everywhere. Now we're going to move to the next round. The category this time is... Bing. This round, there's a prize Hurts on the you wheel, emotionally. Charlie. Tell us all about it. You know, I didn't berate any anyone from other countries for not knowing what was that Texas? It wasn't Houston, Texas. It was some some city in Texas that nobody knew. I wasn't like this hurts me as a Texan. <laughs> No, it wasn't Paris. It was some town that nobody knew what it was. Player three, on to you. Was it Abilene? Okay. I think it was Abilene. I'd like a B, please, Vanna. We have one B for you. I'll spin the wheel. Let's go. Let's see some money here. R as in river. One R in this puzzle. I'd like to spin, please. It's just interesting. Every time anything geog anytime I don't know where something is or something like that, it's always stupid Americans. Always. Like every time. <laughs> you Americans. Not knowing w what's in my country. This should help. There are three of them. I don't even know what's in my country. I'll spin the wheel. Then I'll try an N. Uh huh. There are four all together. Let's winning bingo card. Winning bingo card. All right, give me a big one. We do like wheel. Hey, I'd like a w, if you're not happy with the programming on this stream, drop a game suggestion in the the game suggestion form in the the info section. I'm gonna go through that like tomorrow and order. Order games for streaming. I'll try to solve, please, Vanna. Winning bingo card. That's it. All right. Good for you, player three. Thank you, Vanna. Uh -huh. Let's see how all our players are doing after this round. Woo! Right on! Shut up, player three. It's time for the next puzzle. Okay, everyone. Time now for the jackpot round. The category this time is... Showbiz. Hmm... 
the wheel's got a surprise on it this round. That's uh player three okay. to you. Let's give this a spin. Okay, big money, big money. Come on, money. Come on, S. Good guess. There are three. I don't know. The jetpack ramp. Dragon Age, better. probably not. Eye, okay. Probably oh. not. It's really not my kind of game. I'm Up tempted to check out when Skyrim hits Switch. It, Skyrim's going to Switch, right? That's the one. I'm tempted to check that out. So maybe. I'm gonna spin. I'm doing okay with the the adpocalypse. Try it. Things have been better, but things yes, have been. Hope they, help. they were worse. They're better. They, they've improved. I'll spin. And also, streaming is is helping. Is there a B beta? I've played some Breath of the Wild on Can't Switch. I didn't play a bunch of it. It was fun for what Here I played, and here. then I stopped playing it. Oh, on stream. No, I, I haven't played it on stream. I mean, I guess I could play that. I don't know that I really want to do that, though. Nice move. There are two of them. Okay, it's somebody in a movie. Somebody. Is Kirsty Alley, is that someone's name? What has she been in? maybe play Undertale. You know, I actually didn't play Undertale. I watched Undertale. But I don't know, is Kirsty with a K? I don't know. Good guess. We've got one for you. Is it Sinister Minister? If it's Sinister Minister. Kirsty A L L L? There are three L's. Hmm. In Lurvnita's closet. Somebody's closet. Fern Fernibas. Fern I'll think about Undertale. <gasps> oh, I hope I solve this puzzle. <laughs> uh-huh. Two C's up there. That's a lot of dough. Unbelievable. Veronica? Could it be Veronica? A pair of O's. All the vowels are now gone. Okay. Surely it's just a Y, right? Now how else are you gonna spell Kirsty Alley? 
at you. I've never seen Veronica's closet. Um. But hey, I'll take you it. You did it! Fantastic. Ooh, you know, I would. That was a fun you know, round. Let's see how. Maybe the witness. Doing. I would give the witness a shot. I streamed a little bit of the witness when it first came out. I don't know if people would be interested in that. Another round, another puzzle. Let's check it out. Monthly, monthly, our category this time around is come true. I don't know what it's about. Let's uh. Player one, over to you. Veronica Ronnie Chase owns Veronica's Closet, uh, a lingerie and book company designed to keep romance alive. After leaving her womanizing husband, she receives the support of her top executive, Olive, uh, devoted assistant Josh, and pretty publicist Perry to help run the company and her personal life. It is a sitcom that ran for three seasons on NBC. There are three essays. Uh, let's see here. Er, er did. Thank you for the $5. It says, hello, here are $5. Also, I have some sweet RuneScape midis for you to download. Add these to your 98 if you like. I play them every night. I actually think I may already have all of the RuneScape midis, but I, I appreciate the thought. I think I may have those. I think I added them to my Spotify. So I could just listen to him whenever I wanted to. <laughs> we have one R for you. Street? Sesame Street? Something Sesame. Open Sesame Street. I don't know how to spell Sesame Street. What luck! Five of them. Okay. Well, that clears it up. Ses. Oh, no, no, no. Dude, Vanna isn't always so positive. Vanna is sometimes wow, very filled with a lot of sass. That's the end of this round. Let's take a look at the scores. Yep, yep. Your stream keeps going puzzle? green and Here purple. I will say that my stream, stream, watching streams has Let's been weird lately. Category. I haven't seen anything like that. Fill in the number. Um, what's with the Player ringing whenever Vanna shows up? It's just the recording. It's the FMV. It has this really high hum. That's just the game. I'd like an L, please, Vanna. Yes, we have one L. I don't know that I've ever seen a fill in the number puzzle. I'll take a P. Yes, one P. Leap, leapfrog. So I think with this puzzle, you have to solve Give me a y. the rest of it, and then uh -huh. you get a multiple yeah. choice question to answer the numbers, I think. Give this baby a spin. Come on. All right. Give me a big one. All right. 
All right, give me a big one. All right. I'd like an R as in rope. There's one in this Get it, get it, get it, get it, yeah! Yes. Leap year. Yes. Something, something, a leap year. Is there an A, Vanna? Uh-huh, there are four all together. <laughs> oh, oh in, blank days in a leap year. 64 kit. Thank you very much for that prime Please. sub. And the heart. Afraid not. T really player two? She's just giving it to player three. I think I'll spin, Vanna. Okay, big money, big money. Come on, money. Or is she? 5,000 oh, days in a loop year. Too bad, but I guess it could have been worse. Player one. See, what's that to sass? Too bad, but I guess it could have been worse. Yes, sir, we've got one of those. How does how does she know I'm a sir? I have not shared that information with Vanna. Get it, get it, get it, get it, yeah! Yes. Yes. Manny, Manny, thank you for the 17 months. That is a lot of months. Uh, this guess is for you. A single S. A single S. I'm telling you, I don't know if Pat is in any of uh, of these games. Good guess. We've got one for you. That means that the rest I should look into that. I should just ask John. I think he collect he collects Wheel of Fortune games, so he would just in a leap year. Leap years when it's shorter, right? <laughs> That's it. Great. Now I have to know how many. It's. This puzzle has an extra question. I don't and like the extra, extra question. If you answer it correctly. The extra questions just open me up to be judged further. It's three sixty four, right? No. God damn it. <laughs> Let's check out how all the players are doing after this round. Uh, oh well. Leap Day Williams. Oh dude, if I had thought about Leap Day Williams, I totally would have remembered that. Oh my what a god. Game. Congratulations everyone. The bonus round is coming up for our top money winner. Player one. Time for the bonus round. We've got some great prizes for you. So pick a card. Dude. In judge all. away. Thing. I've never claimed to be a smart man. In fact, I was Here just talking earlier today about how I was not a smart man. -E. Now pick three more consonants and a vowel. It seems like it would be shorter because you would leap over a day. You know, that's kind of what my train of thought was. Uh, you guys can guess on this one. I'm not going to look. I mean, we're just talking about how stupid I am anyway, so... Glat... Oh! Flashlight. Flash. Light. Oops. Yes, you got it! 
Charlie, tell them all about their fantasy prize package. Dude, tell me about my fantasy prize package, Charlie. Everybody will be kung fu fighting for this fantasy. That's going to be me. Like That's going to be me. And be pampered the way you reserve during your stay in a martial arts spa. Definitely going to be me. Intensive instruction in the ancient arts of self defense. After lunch, you'll be Oh, I don't know. Uh This fantasy prize That may not be me. $17,800. So, uh while you guys, you know, Spend the weekend judging me for not knowing how long a leap year is. Um, I'll be off learning martial arts and maybe getting a Thanks massage, but also fashion. maybe not. Bye -bye. Maybe not. I like massages. I've never had a massage by like a, a masseuse. I don't know. I don't know that I want a random stranger touching me that much. <laughs> that may be a little too much, too much touching for me. Normal game? Okay, so how many... One player? You can play a game with a time limit or a game with a fixed number of rounds. What do you want to do? Okay. We're going to do one more and then I'm probably out to go watch some sinister minister. And then Wednesday, it's time to start Thug. What if a martial arts master was the one touching you? I mean, if they're touching me in like a martial arts way, like hitting me, I guess that's fine. Massaging is like an extended touch though. Thank you, Charlie. Welcome to Wheel of Fortune. Hey, Preds fans, thanks for the bits. For life's life's so going okay. What are we waiting for? Let's go. Gonna go step Let's away from work today? First category. Before and after. Player the polar one, bear. over to you. Well, realistically, Mega G Wolf, realistically, I wouldn't do either. I wouldn't do martial arts. Are you kidding me? I'm like. I feel like if I moved quickly in any any way, I would just pull something. I would injure myself. See some serious coinage here. Hoping for a T here. Yes, sir. We've got one of those. I would rather be ignored than either of those things, than karate or massaged. I'd rather be, like, standing in the corner and nobody talks to me. Free spin. Free spin. I'd like to buy a vowel, please. Um, I. There's one in I this seem vowel. like someone who could master Brazilian jiu-jitsu. Let's spin this thing. <laughs> Give me an R. Give me an R. No. You want to use that free spin of yours? No, no encouraging like spit smile from across to, the room. Uh, use my free spin. That's that's a sign of acknowledgement. I'm gonna spin. That means they know that I'm there. See that big one? It's interesting because some people Fantastic. prefer okay. this version. Some people like the PC version. I like both. I feel like the PC for version moves faster, which I appreciate. Uh, but I. <laughs> Player three is so fucking annoying on this one. I love it. I think I'll spin, Vanna. I don't know who's getting kicked off the Bachelorette tonight because I don't know. I don't know enough of the people. It takes a few episodes for me to be able to tell all the all the bachelors apart. I'll try an A, please. Two of them. Two A's. 
I'll spin the wheel. Okay, big money, Oh, big he's player money. two now. Come on, money. Sometimes they switch. Sometimes player two and three Bear, switch. I'll try L. Nice move. There are two of them. Peanut. I think I'll spin, Vanna. Come on, big money. Let's go. Is it Peanut? Give me an F. Just the one F. That means that the rest of the letters are vowels. Buy or solve? Hmm. Peanut oil, oil of here, Vanna. oil of cl oil of clay is know. not a thing. There are three O's. What is oil of? What is oil of I think away? I one down. I'd like to solve, please. Peanut oil of Olay. Oh. Okay, so. Olay, uh, Ole, player two. The uh, the uh, toughy, but, uh, skincare well, beauty well, product uh, company used to be called Oil of Olay. It's just called Olay now. Having some fun now. They changed the name in uh, 1999. The 1999. The category yeah. this time is around the house so that was not something that i was going to figure out we've got a prize on the wheel this time charlie tell us about it we learned so much playing wheel come on in the water's fine mm -mm. this looks permanent outdoor swimming pool oh, okay all right nine thousand eight hundred dollars player two i thought we were going like public pool water park with that I'll, I'll take a private pool though Tea? You thought it was still oil of Olay? No. Player three, on to you. No. It's not that. I mean, 1999's not that long ago. I'll take a Y as in yogurt. The pool better not come with people. No, it's not a private pool if it comes with people. It's a pool where people Player are. One. Over to you. Oh my god, you were one in 1999? Oh my god. Good guess. We've got one for you. It's stuff, isn't it? Stuff. No. 1999 is like another world. That's very true. <gasps> no. Just disappointment. Oh no, what a shame. Player two, you're up. I'd like to spin the wheel, please. I feel like the All 90s right. happened so fast. I guess that's just time. I guess, I guess life just happened so fast. Not a single R. Player three, on to Welcome you. to Wheel of Fortune, where we have existential crises about how fleeting life is. Can I have a P as in pumpkin? Oh. Afraid not. Player one, over to you. My uh, cousin, my younger cousin, is just now, I think just now got out, got into uh, Two of them, as a matter of fact. the college that I went to, and like seeing all the, like the, oh, new college, I'm a new college person, pictures was just like, uh, I remember being that person. Can't help you this time. Sorry. Player two, you're up. I think I'll spin. Yeah, man. the polar bear moves its head. Okay, big money, big money. Come on, money. Are you joking? I'll take an M, please. 
can do. One M. I'd like to spin the wheel, please. You better get bankrupt. I'd like a C, please, Vanna. There's one in this puzzle. I'd like to buy a vowel, please. I, as in information. There are two. Options. Washing machine. It's my washing machine. Let's washing machine. Washing machine. I wish I had a washing machine. How about an L? Not a single L. Player three, on to you. Come on, B. See ya, Mega G. How about an H? There Write that song. Players. It's a song that I would I would sing to. Or I, I would sing every time I did my laundry. Yes, we have two A's for you. Hmm. hmm. But what could it be? Hmm. Here comes a bankrupt. Here comes a... I would like a W, please, Vanna. Yes, sir. We've got one of those. Hmm. Oh, she just says yes, sir, to everybody. Yes, sir. Washing machine. Washing machine. You did it. Fantastic. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. That was a fun round. Let's see how everyone's doing. At least. How do I have zero dollars? That's what I'm looking for. Oh right, I started a new game. Uh Let's get ready for the next puzzle. All right, players, get ready for the jackpot round. Let's see what our category is this time. Proper name. Uh, I don't like the proper names. Keep your eyes open for the surprise on the wheel. Player 3, on to you. I'll spin. <laughs> Pathetic. Oh, I don't believe it. That's a shame. You barely I spun it. How do you not How did you not see that Player one coming? One, over to you. Uh-oh. 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 Almost got the surprise. Afraid not. Player two, you're Help me out, Mana. I'd like to spin the wheel, please. Let's go, let's see some money here. I'm thinking T here, Vanna. Yes, two. Dude. Chad's Club Penguin Penguin. That's such a good one. I need more emotes. I need I need good emotes. But I don't know how. Let's give the Y a try. Three Ys. Mm. Well, I'll there was a jackpot a for here. Ys today. Um, I. Not a single I. I'm just gonna turn the polar bear into a moat. I'm just gonna replace all emotes with just emotes of the polar bear. Are you joking? A couple of ours. The jackpot. All right. All you have to do now is solve the puzzle. I'd like to spin the wheel. Come on. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> Player one, over to you. Oh my god, oh my god. 
tough break. Shut up, Vanna. Shut up, Vanna. Player two. I don't need it. I'd like to buy a vowel, please. Are there any E's? Lot four E's. Let's spin this thing. Tough break, loser. No. I don't know. I'll spin the wheel. Okay. No, 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 no. Oh, that's bad luck. Player one, over to you. Trent? Uh, Br Brent? Is Brent a proper name? Br Brenty? Brent? Brenty, Brent, Brenty, Brenty. Could be great, G R E A T. Great. That's probably a better guess than Brent. Two G's in this puzzle. What? <laughs> two of them. Two A's. Gret. Gretty, gre uh, Gret, great, Gretty, great, uh, great, um, uh, mm. great. Brenty great brain grady uh Oh something Wayne Gretzky Hockey hockey great hockey great Wayne Gretzky Good guess we've got one for you Well I got to get more money I don't know how to spell Gretzky. There's a Z in there somewhere. There's one in this puzzle. Good guess, we've got okay. one for you. That's it for the vowels. I just wanted to make sure it was actually. Okay, just I guess I gotta get lucky. I I don't feel like I'm being greedy, but I need more money, or I'm gonna lose. Ooh, the prize! The prize! We have two K's for you. Here you go. The prize is yours. What's the prize? Well, I have to solve it now. I got the prize. Hockey great Wayne Gretzky. Oh, was it the pool? I don't remember what the prize was. That's the end of this round. Let's take a look at the scores. I wish it would tell me what the prize is when I win it. He's great enough Good to be luck, one of the everybody. few hockey players that I would be able Want to solve to this boy? puzzle with. Here it goes. Like, I don't know what other People. hockey person I would know the name of. 
Player one, over to you. Uh, what are some other famous hockey players? See you, Waffles. Afraid not. Player two, you're up. Alex O. I'd like to spin the wheel, please. Ovechkin. Ovechkin? That sounds like something. Better, I'll try a tea. Gordy Howe. I don't. Gordy Howie? How? I don't know. I'll spin, Vanna. So okay, Wayne Gretzky money, then? Money. Come on, money. So basically Wayne Gretzky. Are you joking with why? this surprise bullshit? Oh. Yeah, get out of here. Not one why. Sorry. Player three, on to you. And I don't mean this is a slight to hockey in any way. It just means that I don't know any hockey. I mean, it's like how many football no, players no. are people that aren't into football going to be able to name? No. Player one, over to you. Ah, uh, yeah, Jor... Jar Omir Jagger. Yeah, definitely. Now that you mention it, that's someone that I know. Just the one if. Mike, Ma Mike Madano sounds familiar. I wouldn't have put his name to a, a hockey player, I don't think, but I definitely recognize the name. Player two, you're up. I'm gonna buy a vowel. Give me an I, please. Just the one I. I'm gonna spin. On. I'm not the MVP of hockey. I've been to some hockey games. It was fun, uh, but it's not a sport that I follow. Afraid not. I would go to more Player games. Three, I don't I don't know that I really care to watch it on I'm TV. Alright, give me a big one. Alright. Alright. How about an M as in mom? There's one in this puzzle. Team? Something 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 team? C is in cake. One C. Where is it? I would scream. Like to out, please. Something scream. Is there an e, Vanna? Oh, it can't be scream. Three E's. I'd like to spin the wheel. Hmm. All right, give me a big one. The minor league hockey like team in Seattle won their league one this year. That's cool. That's good. Go to a hockey game if I'm ever in Nashville. I feel like if I'm in Nashville, I'm probably going to be there for reasons other than a hockey okay, game, though. In house. There are three H's here, and here's that surprise for you. Oh my god, I did see that uh, oh, high school de debate team. High school debate team, maybe? I did see that crash. The Indy 500 crash. I think it was the Indy 500. Insanity. In golf? Yes, sir. Yeah, we've debate. got one of those. Let's give this baby a spin. Come on. Boing, in it. Boing, in, boing, boing, boing. Uh oh. No. Uh, Z. There's one in this puzzle. See a potato. I'm gonna buy a vowel. I will try A. Nice move. There are two of them. I'll solve the puzzle. High school debate team. Well, aren't you just the smartest cookie? You 
you've solved the puzzle, all right. You've also won the surprise. Charlie? Start spreading the news. It's an all-expense-paid romantic weekend to spectacular New York City. A $5,680 value. Hey, I got one. Let's check out hey, got how one. all the players are doing after this round. Okay, all right. Hanging in there. Is it over? Did I win? Okay, here's the next puzzle. No. Let's take a look at our last category. This is like a must win. I need Same to win game. this. Because if player three wins it, it's it's over. Player two, you're up. Let's spin this thing. as in tank. Two of them, as a matter of fact. Mm. I'll spin the wheel. <laughs> Wayne and Wayne Gretzky. Here. On the point of telling a fictional player that they want a trip that doesn't exist is to, it's for our immersion. Because we're actually on Wheel of Fortune right now. That's what would happen. Player three, on to you. I need you to just almost solve it for me and then give it to me. I'll buy a vowel, Vanna. I'd like an I, please, Vanna. Yes, two. Hope they help. Contractor? No, it starts with an I. Well, I'll spin, Vanna. Okay, come on now. The illusion, the illusion is important. Yeah, you, I, I don't play. I, I have to be immersed in my wheel of fortune. If I don't feel like I'm actually there. Player one, over to you. Them okay, all right, all right. In... Yes, one A. So it's gotta be an O. I don't know. It has to be an S, because what else is gonna go in between N and T? Instructor, dance, something and dance. Maybe it's dance. Yes, two. Hope they help. Drive. Uh, uh, just one A. Yes, sir, we've got one of them. Uh, any other help with the U? There's any other one help? In this no. What else do you need an instructor for? Uh, uh, mm, 
Mm, I gotta spin. Dance, dr Oh my god, I feel like it should be so obvious. Them. Oh, there's two. I have to solve. Drill instructor? Like, like a, like a drill sergeant, maybe? Drill instructor? Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. That took way too long. That's it. Great. I stopped That's looking at the round. chat because I Let's figured everyone knew it before I did, and I wanted to get there. <laughs> yeah, so it's like, before and after is like You're dance instructor, round. drill instructor. Let's get or, ready for the is that before round. and after? If you'll just pick a card, I think that's we'll before and after. Get you the prize behind it. All right, we're going with the H. On the map. Feel free to guess on this one. I'm not looking. We'll show you any of the letters R, S, T, L, N, or E that are in the puzzle. Okay, now I need three more consonants and a vowel. Crap. On the map, Ben. I don't know. I have no idea. Vent. Bit. Uh. Kentucky. Oh. Oh, that's too bad. But you still finished first. Congratulations. I didn't even really look at the letter K very much. That's so good job, cool. guys. Congratulations. Dude, thank you, Hope real, you real Pasheen. Thank you for the support, even though I failed. I appreciate it. Instead of the judgment, like some people would rather give me.
All right, guys, this was fun. I'm done for the day. I'm going to go take the rest of the day off and watch some TV. I will be back Wednesday for a... It should be a pretty long stream, actually. I'm planning on going for a while. We're going to start Tony Hawk's Underground. We're going to do Raffle Day in Animal Crossing. And uh, maybe some other stuff. Who knows? I will report back on the Sinister Minister. I'll let you know. Uh, until then, have a great... Uh, day off for those of you that have the day off and for everyone else have a good just have a good day and have a good tuesday too and i will see you on wednesday so good night but it's not really night for me but good night i'm gonna go start the rest of my day baked potato everyone and now folks it's time to say good night we sincerely appreciate your patronage and hope we've succeeded in bringing you an enjoyable evening of entertainment. Please drive home carefully and come back again soon. Good night.